let's take a look at the latest number from the Belgian capital markets. Over the course of the year, we see the total investment volume for 2020 coming in at 5.9 billion euros, which is a new record high. This exceeds the five-year average by 36%. If we take a look at the top three transactions for 2020, we can see that offices still dominate the market and that it is no longer only focused on Brussels. Antwerp and Ghent also recorded an outstanding year. If we look at the main volume by asset class, offices recorded an all-time high volume of 3.6 billion euro. Retail is considered with caution by investors. In contrast, industrial and logistics posted its best year ever with a flow of transactions in the last quarter. Looking at the 2020 investors' nationality by number of deals and concentrating on the investment transaction of more than 25 million euros, local investors are the most active and are followed by German, US and French players. The market is supported by two extremes. Core transactions dominate by far, and there is a strong interest for redevelopment transactions. With regards to office take-up, 2020 was one of the weakest years in history. However, projects with excellent accessibility and green features traded fairly well. The occupier market was supported by corporates, and we also observe the return of European institutions with two large-size transactions. In contrast of 2019, when they signed for large-size transactions, the Belgian administrations were nearly absent from the market in 2020. In Brussels, we've seen the global vacancy rate slightly increasing to 7.5%, mainly due to speculative completions in the North District. The rate increased to 3.8% in the CBD, whilst decreasing to 13.8% outside the CBD. Prime rents in Brussels as a whole remained unchanged at 315 euros per square meter. We however recorded a 12% increase in the Louise district and of 22% in the North district. Prime yields were stable at 3.9% for a six to nine years lease and at 3.5% for long-term leases as institutional investors focus on the very core transactions and compression of prime yields in 2021 cannot be excluded. Taking a look at prime office rents in other cities, we can see that Antwerp and Ghent have a 3.2% increase and that Liege recorded a 6% increase. In the other cities, there is no change. With an eye on retail, Investors are even more cautious than before about retail assets as the evolution of the occupier market makes the exit uncertain. As a result, prices are decreasing further. The largest transaction for 2020 was private Belgian investors acquiring Shopping Oland for 65 million. The fundamental of the Belgian logistics market are pretty healthy. Portfolio transactions contributes to support investment activity and help to bring volume to an all-time high in 2020. The largest transaction for 2020 was the acquisition of the logistics portfolio of AG Real Estate by Prologis for 127 million. There is an increased interest for residential assets by institutional investors. So far, opportunities are very scarce as the Belgian market is primarily driven by owner-occupier transactions, but international capital is ready to enter. So, despite challenging conditions on the occupier market, 2020 returned a record level of investments, especially from the office and industrial segments. Prime office yields have stabilized and the prices logistics properties increased further. Investors are very cautious against retail assets, so yields go up and prices go down. Thank you for your attention.